गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट लेट एस स्टार्ट विद आवर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर टू इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड डियर स्टूडेंट इन दी प्रीवियस सेक्शन वी स्टडी अबाउट द डिमांड एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थ्योरीज रिलेटेड टू डिमांड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डिमांड एंड इट्स डिटर्मिनेंट इन दिस चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी स्टडी डेट द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड टेल एस अबाउट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ चेंज इन डिमांड फॉर अ कॉमोडिटी इन रिस्पॉन्स टू चेंज इन प्राइस ओके इट्स बेसिकली शोज द डायरेक्शन like when uh, like when price of a commodity increases its quantity demand decreases when price of a commodity decreases its quantity demand increases so it so law of demand only shows about the direction of the change in demand b- with respect to change in price but the law of demand does not show about the magnitude of the quantity change in quantity demanded in response to change in price so this magnitude we measure with the help of elasticity okay that's why elasticity is known as the magnitude or the responsiveness okay with the help of elasticity by measuring the elasticity we can easily calculate the magnitude and the responsiveness of demand with response to price okay student now first first is what is the meaning of elasticity of demand okay price elasticity of demand may be defined as the degree of responsiveness of quantitative demand of a commodity in response to change in price by degree here we mean the rate of change okay therefore more preciously e the price elasticity of demand refers to the ratio of percentage change in quantity demanded of a commodity to a given percentage change in its price okay student so we can see this with the help of this formula that price elasticity of demand means percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in percentage change in price of the commodity so this formula represents the price elasticity of demand okay now student adam professor marshall was the first economist to develop the concept of price elasticity of demand as the ratio of the relative change in quantity demanded to a relative change in it price okay and alfred marshall was the first economist after that there are so other uh, so many economists emerged who who defined the different type of price elasticity of de- uh, different type of elasticity of demand but first of all this definition or this term was coined by alfred marshall okay student now as we uh, all know that elasticity of demand means percentage change in demand for the co- uh, commodity or good divided by percentage change in price of the commodity okay student now move to our next topic which is percentage method of measuring price elasticity of demand student we have so many methods to calculate price elasticity of demand like percentage method expenditure method arc method geometric method but in our syllabus we have only percentage method as numerical and we will study about geometric method and uh, income method or arc method only in a theoretical uh, form okay rest we have uh, rest in case of numerical we have only percentage method okay now what is this percentage method A student measuring price elasticity of demand by using its definition as such is called as percentage method according to percentage method price elasticity of demand which is represented by ed okay which is represented by ed this ed means this ed means elasticity of demand okay so ed is measured by taking ratio of percentage change in demand and the percentage change in price which can be seen with the help of following formula okay this formula represents the percentage of uh, percentage method of measuring elasticity of demand ed equals to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price so this formula represents our percentage method now this percentage method now this percentage method further explain or elaborate in the term of this way okay as we all know that percentage change in quantity demanded how we can measure percentage we all are familiar how we can measure perc- percentage suppose you have suppose initially you have 100 quantity after that it you have it becomes 110 quantity then how will you measure the percentage change in from 100 to 110 110 it simply represents that initially the difference between the both which is 10 the difference between the both so the difference divided by 
the main value which is 100 into by 100 okay this uh, we detect this 100 out of this so 10 is remaining so the change is only 10 percent so this way we can calculate our percentage similarly this this will be done here okay percentage you can see that change in quantity delta q divided by change in q into 100 now percentage change in price delta p upon p into 100 okay so we can easily see that this equation this equation or this formula percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price is represented by this delta q upon q into 100 and delta p upon p into 100 okay student this is our formula now we can further explain this formula with the help of algebraic equations like this is represented uh, represented in this section like elasticity of demand ed equals to delta q upon q into 100 okay divided by delta p upon p into 100 okay student so out of this this we can detect and for this we will do reciprocal okay which becomes which becomes this part okay which becomes this part okay so our formula of elasticity of demand ed equals to delta q upon delta p into p upon q so this is the formula of price elasticity of demand change in quantity divided by change in price into price upon quantity okay students so this is our formula for elasticity of demand we can see this formula with the help of uh, example okay in our example you can see that when price of a commodity when price of a commodity is rupees 50 at this 50 quantity demanded is 100 when price of a commodity 60 then quantity demanded is 70 as we can see that price increases quantity demand decreases okay student so now after this change in price first of all we calculate delta q uh, delta p and delta q we can see delta p change in price change in price the pre the new price okay from the new price we have to deduct the old price so delta p equals to p1 minus p and delta q equals to q1 minus q okay student so we can see delta p p1 minus p and delta q q1 minus q 60 minus 50 we get 10 and 70 minus 100 we get we get minus 30 so we have so we have delta p equals to 10 delta q equals to minus 30 p equals to 50 which is this initial p and q equals to 100 initial quantity so we have all the four determinant of our formula now we now we can put these variable in our formula and we get our answer easily okay student now if you see that plotting these in our equation we can easily do we can easily get elasticity of demand equals to 1.5 which is ed which simply represents that ed equals to delta q upon delta p into p upon q delta q is minus 30 delta p uh, delta p is 10 into p is 50 and q is 100 by solving this you will easily get ed equal ed equals to minus 1.5 okay thus ed equals to minus 1.5 implies that if price of good changes by 1% quantity demanded changes by 1.5 five percent okay and the minus sign indicate inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded which we already know that there is an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded so student this is our percentage method okay student this is our percentage method and this is the measurement of percentage method so this method is one of the simplest method with the equation with the formula that ed equals to delta q upon delta p into p upon q this is the uh, formula of price elasticity of demand okay and we all know that delta q means q1 minus q and delta p means p1 minus p 
okay student so this is our formula and this is how we can calculate delta q and delta p now move to our next part which is degree or kinds of price elasticity of demand dear student if you talk about degree and different kinds of price elasticity of demand then elasticity of demand different from commodities to commodity and also from individuals to individual okay as noted above which we can see in our example a given change in price may leads to a significant or a small change in the quantity demanded okay and if change in demand is significant then demand for the commodity is said to be elastic okay otherwise it is inelastic we all know that about uh, now we will uh, learn about what is elastic what is inelastic all this term we will learn in this particular topic uh, in this particular topic okay now if we talk about degree of price elasticity of demand we have five degrees of price elasticity of demand okay the first one is there are five kinds of price elasticity of demand okay the first one is perfectly inelastic demand okay perfectly inelastic demand perfectly inelastic demand means when quantity demanded does not change at all as the result of change in price of a commodity okay because of change in price of a commodity the quantity demand does not change okay demand of that commodity is said to be perfectly inelastic for example if price of a commodity changes like price initially price equals to 100 then p1 110 price is 110 rupees and the next p2 price is equals to 120 rupees you can see price changing but quantity demand in this case suppose is 10 and it remain 10 in all the three cases this is represented by perfectly inelastic demand we can see with the help of diagram that quantity remain constant and only changes in price like this is our p1 like this is our p2 okay so we can see that price is changing but quantity remain constant at point q so this situation is known as perfectly inelastic demand in this situation elasticity of demand ed equals to 0 it remains 0 which we can see in the help uh, in the diagram ed equals to 0 in this case price changes quantity demand remains same okay you can see with the help of this uh, table that when price of mango changes 50 60 70 okay it increases you will find that quantity demand remain constant which is 4 so this case is known as perfectly inelastic demand case okay now our second point is inelastic demand or we can say that less elastic demand okay when a large change in price does not bring so much change in demand the demand is said to be inelastic okay a large change in price because of change in price when quantity demand is not changes that much it simply known as inelastic demand generally this phenomena we will find in the case of necessity goods okay like you can see necessity goods like sugar wheat okay coats uh, cloth salt etc are seen to have inelastic demand in this case the numerical value of elasticity of demand is less than 1 which we can see with the help of a diagram like ed is smaller than 1 okay this is the case of perfectly inelastic demand we can see this with the help of our uh, demand schedule demand schedule of wheat like we can see that when price of a commodity changes like 25 to 35 then quantity demanded also changes okay price increases you can see price increases from 20 to 35 quantity demanded decreases from 10 to 9 so in the above schedule fall in demand is only fall in demand is only 10% okay in response to change in price okay which is around 40% so you can easily see, uh, you so that so you can easily see that the percentage change in price is more as compared to the demand so this type of phenomena is simply known as inelastic demand where the percentage change in price is more than the percentage change in demand and this can be represent with the help of diagram which is which you can see like this okay in this diagram you can see like this is plotted like this this is your x axis and this is your y axis now you have this is your demand curve after that you have to plot price and quantity demanded okay the price and quantity demanded 
price is represented in this axis quantity demand in this okay price like uh, like 5 10 15 20 20 this is your price this is quantity demanded so you will get a demand curve like this and you will get a price like this okay so you can see the percentage change in price like this portion this portion percentage change in price okay this portion is only 40 percent rise in price okay because of 40 percent rise in price quantity demanded fall by 10 percent only which you can see in this portion okay 9 and 10 between 9 and 10 okay and price increases between 25 to 35 so you we can easily see that the percentage change in price is higher than percentage change in demand this phenomena is simply known as inelastic demand curve okay student this is our second de second degree of price elasticity of demand our third degree is unit elastic demand okay in this third degree this situation percentage change in demand is equal to percentage change in price okay this is one of the simplest form unit elastic wear ed equals to 1 in this in this particular uh, degree ed equals to 1 because percentage change in demand like your price change by 10% and quantity change by same 10 percent this is known as unit elastic demand because the percentage change in quantity demanded is same as percentage change in price okay student now according to dr marshall if elasticity of demand is equal to unit means one then total expenditure of the commodity remains the same even when price changes case of unit elasticity unitary elastic are very real okay very real you can see with the help of diagram that elasticity of demand will be unit unity when the demand curve takes the shape of rectangular hyperbola it equals to one when it equals to one it takes the shape of rectangular hyperbola in the case of it equals to one the demand curve takes the shape of rectangular hyperbola like this because this represent that percentage change in price from 5 to 10 only changes in from 5 to 10 delta p represent where delta p 5 and like 5 to 10 again delta q equals to 5 so we can see that percentage change in price is 5 uh, percent and uh, uh, like 5 percent and interest rate change in quantity demand is also 5 percent like it is around 100 percent changes in price elastic uh, price and 100 percent change in quantity so the percentage change in price and quantity is same that's why we get our demand curve as rectangular hyperbola because the gap between price and gap between quantity is same like price changes by 10 percent and quantity changes by 10 percent also changes by 10 percent so they both are same that's why this particular price and quantity formulate a rectangular hyperbola demand curve which is in the shape of c like this this is our rectangular hyperbola demand curve okay student so student now we have completed our three degree we have left it with two degrees of price elasticity of demand which we which we will study in our next video okay student thank you so much for today class we will meet in our next session okay take care stay safe